Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and I'm back again with another really interesting video. This time guys, we are going to discuss about instant apps in Android development with Kotlin. So yes guys, this is a very interesting and a cool feature developed by Google Play. So before I start discussing this guys, if you have not yet subscribed to my channel, then please do subscribe and hit the bell icon for future notifications of such programming and coding related videos. And let's get started with today's topic. So first of all guys, what are instant apps? So in single sentence, instant apps are just your Android apps, but without the installation. So you might say, oh, how, how is that possible? Because generally, if we want to open any application or if you want to use any application in our phone, we have to go to the Play Store, click on install, have it in our phone, and then we can use it, right? But guess what google play has given us a feature of instant apps using that feature we can actually have an experience of that application you know we can have a look and feel of it or we can actually use some features of that application but without having to install it okay so how cool is that guys let's suppose you have developed a game and you want people to actually install that game so using this instant app feature you can allow the user to have a tutorial of the game but without having to install it this actually increases the engagement of the people and it can help to motivate the people to download the your app and thereby you know helping your business so yes this is a very cool and a very interesting feature but the only issue is that the google play instant has enabled the native apps and games to launch on devices running android 5.0 or higher without being installed so yes guys if you have already developed an application then you can convert it into an instant app but you can only do so for versions 5 or higher android devices but that's not an issue guys because i think it's a really cool feature and if you have developed your application definitely have an instant app version of your application to help you to increase your downloads so basically guys if you have created your application and if you enable the instant app version on it then on the google play store once you post your app you will get a try now button and if you click on this try now button you will get the instant app version and if you click on install obviously it is going to install the application on your phone okay so now that we know a little bit about instant apps and we know how cool it is it's time to actually convert our application into an instant app application so let's go to our android studio so guys as you can see on my screen uh, i have a dice roller application uh, made here already so in my previous videos if you have not yet seen the video then please go watch it that how i actually created this app so this is a basic dice roller app in which we have a button and we have a dice uh, you know uh, images six images of dice uh, to make sure that once we have a random number from one to six that image gets displayed here okay so this is a basic android kotlin app and if we go to the android manifest.xml you can see that it's a plain android manifest we have our application our main activity and our main launcher intent filter okay so now we don't want to install this app we want that this application should just be used like a instant app okay how we can do that so the first step is that you have to actually enable the instant app development in your android studio so go to uh, tools and go to the sdk manager you can also go into the sdk manager from uh, your studio in this uh, small icon here so if you click on the sdk manager you have to go to the tab sdk tools and here you will be given a lot of sdk tools which are installed and some of which which are not installed right so you have to actually select the google play instant development sdk and if it is not installed on your studio then just click this checkbox click on ok and it will get installed on your android studio okay once it gets installed guys then just restart your android studio so you can use all the new features that comes with this extension okay so now let's see uh, what features this uh, extension has given us so the first feature is guys that as you can see that i have an application which is already made so i have not done anything to this application this was an already made application 
but it was done like a simple app there was nothing instant about it but what you can do is you can actually convert this application to have an instant support just by the click of a bit button so you can just go to your project right click on your project go to refactor and click on enable instant app support so once you click on enable instant app support guys you will get the opportunity to select your base application module so in my case this application just have one module so obviously only one is, is visible but you can you know you can have multiple modules so basically you can have two modules for your application one for the proper application you can create another for the instant version of it uh, for example if you want to just you know show a trailer of your application you can create another module and select that as a base application module to enable the instant app support okay uh, but just to remind you guys that this refactor option has been given to me only after i have that sdk tool for google play instant okay so now let's click on this and you can see guys that as soon as i clicked on it i immediately got some few lines on my android manifest.xml and the first line is a namespace in my manifest that is excel uh, that is the dist namespace uh, xm x uh, yeah sorry my my uh, the dist namespace um so with this this namespace we have actually configured the module tag in which the this instant is equals to true okay so what does this mean guys so we all know how your android application is packaged right so our android application is packaged as an apk file right when you build it it gets converted into an apk file but what we want is that our application should also get an instant version of it so basically this dist namespace this dist module tag is going to create another distribution of our application which will be an apks file and that apks file will become the instant version of your application and the apk file will be the normal version of your application okay so basically now we have got the distribution part sorted that once my build will be completed i will have the uh, instant app uh, file to deploy to my emulator right <clears throat> okay so now the thing is that how to <clears throat> deploy this to my emulator right because what is our general way to deploy we just you know select our uh, you know select our emulator here and then there is this run button and when we click on the run button and then we just you know run our app right but this time we are not going to do this we are going to go to the run configuration and actually do something interesting so you can see that in this run configuration now we are getting a different option here a checkbox called as deploy as instant app this is all because of the that sdk tool which we installed so by default this checkbox is actually going to be unchecked so it's only it was only checked because i checked it before but by default it is going to be unchecked the only thing that you have to do to deploy your application as an instant app is to just check this button and click on apply and click on ok that's the only thing that you have to do now as something is already running on my emulator i'm just gonna stop it so this is just going to get stopped i have my run configuration already applied already edited i'm just going to click the run app button and in a moment you will see that the instant app is going to get launched okay and there you go guys you can see that the app is launched on my emulator let's click on the roll dice button let's see if this actually works or not you can see that the app is actually working it's working to you know perfectly fine just like a normal app just like it was working before when i actually installed it in my previous video but is it something that maybe the app is installed because it looks like an actual app right let's check let's double check if the app was actually installed or was it not installed so i'll go to my apps here and you can see that the, there is no android app which was installed this was a fresh emulator and there was no app which was installed and that basically means that the app which we uh, saw before was actually an instant app 
and uh, that's how it was working okay my emulator is a bit slow but uh, there you you can see that there was no app installed but still i was able to play with the app i was able to experience it and that is the beauty of instant apps that you can actually use the app without having to install it and consume the memory of your phone okay so uh, you can see now guys that how easy it is to just convert your existing application into an instant app you can you know by default give the support of the instant apps if you are only starting to build your application and we are going to play more with it in the future videos guys but for now this was the video i hope you guys enjoyed it and you liked it if you have then please do not forget to hit the like button and share it with your friends as well if you are not yet subscribed then please do subscribe to our channel hit the bell icon for future notifications notifications write down in the comment section below anything you want to say guys any feedback suggestions comments are welcome and thank you so much for watching i'll see you guys in the next video until then take care and bye bye